Good morning. Skip to about 10 minutes if you don't want to see cage modifications and a preview of what's going on with the breeding season. These, um, I think they're probably maybe bath, bath waters <laughs> for putting bath water in. And they have a little door here. But they're great for little feeding stations. You've probably seen them on the cages inside before. And in the end, I don't really use them much. But it occurred to me there's some space here. And I could... Modify the cage. Yep. There's no harm in there's no harm in cutting more doors into cages. And I have lots of the extra um, panels from cutting them out for the basement projects. So I think I think I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna pull that cage out, turn this off, get you out of the way. This extra um, wire is on because the gold-breasted wax bills can get out of the normal spacing and can and have done and gotten into the upper area where the electronics are. So I'm going to have to cut that out for wherever I put these guys. I should just clean this thing too. Oh, I'm going to drag it all the way over there. Yeah, I should. Let's cut it first. Yeah, let's do that. By not making it quite as wide, I have a little flexibility of where I position this. Does that make sense? So the opening's that wide, this opening is just a little less. So if it turns out it's better, 
for me to bias it this way, I can do that. You know what I mean? So that's that's pro tip on <laughs> messing with cages. Okay, so there's that. make the door. The raw material for the door has to be at least six wires wider than the opening itself. And that's because I'm going to clip off three wires on each side. And that will leave me the stiff wire at the top and the bottom of the door. And I can decide how I want the door to open. Either I'll bend a full circle and make a hinge on one side and then a hanger on the other side, or I'll just bend them in a U shape on all four sides and then it will slide up and down. So in this case, I think I just need a sliding door. Okay, now you can see I've clipped out the wires and I have the space to create my little U and I'm gonna make the bend be around a wire on the cage that is located at least one outside of the wire that you see here. If I bend it around that exact location, I can, I can crack the um, weld. I've done it before. So I am going to bend around a wire on the cage that's located one wire outside of that. So you can see how I hold it in the vise, and then I just hammer it over to get the bend started. So that gets it started, and then I also crimp it a little bit farther so it's easier to bend once I get it on the cage. You'll see what I mean. I'll show you. So now I just got to lock it into place. Doesn't have to be super tight, mind you. Just enough that it won't pop back out unexpectedly. And the last thing I need to do is put a little cable tie on this guy so that when I hook it on, it will hold the door up automatically. So I'll be right back. I'll show you that. And that's all there is to it. Okay, this is one of those um, reusable cable ties. Love them. So I'm just going to cook. The idea is I'm just going to leave a little tab, basically like that. I'm just going to hook around a couple of them. And then that just makes sure that this doesn't twist. You know, it's kind of locked in that position. I don't need that much um, tab on it, but you'll see the idea. So it just makes a little spring and holds the door open. All right, now door number two. That's it. It's going to be the same process. You don't need to, you don't need to see that. I'm hoping there's actually a method to my madness, believe it or not. I'm hoping that those feeding stations will let me feed fruit and nectar a little bit more, mm, kind of contain the mess, I guess, a little bit, and perhaps uh, minimize uh, attracting ants into the aviary. Put these on just for fun.
trap door working and then and then we're good kind of like it you can just watch the birds while I'm working